Will stock Predator 420 rip in a John boat? That's the question we're after in this series. Today you'll see how the stock 420 goes in and how the 212cc comes out. Here's a quick walk around of the 212 before it gets removed. Get a basic idea of the engine mount style here. First we're going to remove the four grade 8 3 8 inch bolts holding the engine carriage. With the bolts out, the engine carriage can be removed so that the 420 can be fit in. With the 212 out, you can get a better look here at the pump and engine mounting frame. For this prototype, it was simply some aluminum angle. I'll be showing some updated designs in the near future. Here's a shot of the 420 engine carriage. It's designed to fit into a tight clearance using some tapered bolts. Since the Wave Runner 500 pump shaft is about a quarter inch above the 420 shaft, the engine carriage is about 3 16 aluminum. This cradle provides just enough room in order to mate the shaft heights here. Here's what one of the four engine mount bolts looks like when it's getting tightened down. In order to mate a 420 engine to the Wave Runner 500 pump, I'm using a custom adapter that's available on shallowrunner.com. As you take a better look at it here, it's simply a Lovejoy design. It's proprietary geometry that Yamaha used. This coupler simply allows you to mate the 421 inch shaft to the Yamaha mid shaft assembly. Next, we install a retaining bolt to hold the coupler into place. With the shaft collar loose and the bolt screwed all the way in, mark the bolt and back it off about a quarter turn here. After the shaft collar has been hand tightened to ensure a even gap between the two collar rings, we simply tighten it going side to side until you get your final torque values. With the shaft collar secured, we put our final torque on the retaining bolt. With the retaining bolt tightened, we're all set to install this engine. With the 420 engine carriage installed and the couplers aligned, we tighten the final four 3 8 inch grade 8 bolts. And then we check the alignment of the coupler to ensure that nothing shifted during the install. Here's a quick walk around of the 420 installed. Stay tuned in a future video for an updated engine and pump mount design. In the next video, we'll give this Predator 420 a rip and report back on performance.